My crypto is not in my wallet. Welcome. How many times have we heard that? How many times have we bought something and then pulled up our wallet and it's not there? Why the hell is it not there? It doesn't matter if you're using Trust Wallet, Trust Wallet, or MetaMask. Uh, this other one. Oh, that one doesn't seem to work. Or that other one. The best way to look at what's going on in your wallet is through what's called a blockchain explorer. An explorer is basically the raw data on the blockchain presented to you. So all you need to know is your wallet address and you can go on there and look at any transaction that's ever happened. So there's a lot of them, depending on what chain you're on, there's multiple for each chain. So the popular one for the BSC chain is going to be the BSC scan, which is made by Etherscan, who also makes a couple other ones, FTM scan, Polygon scan. Those are uh, the most common you're going to see depending on what chain you're on. But then there's also some that will combine them, you know, like a BitQuery has a multi-chain explorer. You can look at a bunch of different chains on there. So yeah, we'll just go through this and see what's what to do when you can't find a token in your wallet. All right, here we go, getting into it. So the uh, so this is a little test wallet that I have, or old wallet, I don't know, whatever it is. So all you need to know is your wallet address. This is BSC scan. This is gonna be for the Binance Smart Chain. It's very similar depending on the chain you're on. You got Ether scan, Polygon scan, FTM scan, Hecko info. Optimistic L2, Who Scan, KCC Explorer, a bunch, just depending on what you're doing. So with this one here, let's go ahead and put in my uh, wallet address. Let's say I can't find a token I just bought. It's not showing up on my MetaMask list. What the hell is going on? This is the best way to do it. So you just put your wallet address in there, pop it up. It's going to pull up every transaction you've ever had. And this thing is accurate within you know, a few seconds, it, it pulls new blocks every three seconds, and it takes them a couple more seconds to totally update. And then you're able to view it in here. So you're going to be able to see your transactions right away, right before they happen, whether or not they show up in your trust wallet, in your MetaMask, they're going to be here if they happened, or if they're waiting to get put through, they're always going to show up right here. First thing you can do is look at your tokens. And right here is just going to be your list of tokens. So what do I have in here now? Oh, okay, so I've got a little bit of Elon gate, some Shiba, and a couple of these uh, dusting attacks. So not, nothing left in this guy for me, but you're able to see that right there. You can see your transactions. That's gonna be any transaction that had to do with the native token. So BNB on this chain, maybe Ethereum on the Ethereum chain. This is any, any transaction where that coin has been transacted are gonna show up on this list. And then if we go over to internal transactions, these are gonna be things that a contract that you're interacting with does internally. This is one contract talking to another contract and it's doing its own set of transactions to complete the main transaction that you wanted. So for instance, if you are purchasing something on PancakeSwap, it's gonna, get, it's gonna go through what's called their router and the router will talk to some other contracts and those transactions will show up right here. Then if we click over to the BEP20 tokens, this is gonna show all your tokens. So that's everything that is not the native coin on the chain. So that's going to be any other token, anything you got in there and then you'll see the breakdown on here. But what does this, any of this mean? This is just, this looks like gibberish. It's just a bunch of numbers and I don't understand any of it. So what the heck am I even looking at? So if you go back, we can look and click on the TX hash link and that's going to show us some detailed info on that particular transaction. So if we go to, what did I do here? I don't even know, let's see. Let's go to an old one, let's go to an old one. Let's, let's, let's go back in the day, see what I did with this wallet. Let's go exploring. So you can click here and look at all your past history and go back to the last page. Let's see what, see what I did. So I bought some uh, Safe Moon here. Let's check that out. Oh, I approved I approved the Safe Moon contract here. And if we look at the detailed info on here, we'll just see that. What did I do? Transaction. I approved Safe Moon to be traded on the Pancake Swap router. And this is the record of that happening. That's generally before you trade a token for the first time. You have to do an approval. It's always good to double check when MetaMask pops up or Trust Wallet pops up that the approval is for the token that you're spending because there are a lot of scams out there. Anyway, so here's some more detailed stuff. This for most people, you're not gonna need to look at. It's just really detailed info. People that are exploring deeper and needing to program things. But then let's see, let's see where I bought one. So here's this next transaction where I actually bought some. And what did I do? Ooh, ooh, I bought half a billion safe moon right here. So we can see that right here. I swapped Ethereum on PancakeSwap to BNB. Then the BNB got swapped to safe moon. And here's the transaction, this will show up right away whether or not it's showing up as you can see it i don't have any token showing up in my trust or in my uh, metamask except for bnb and that's the standard one and i haven't manually added anything either so they're not going to show up on here and because i imported this account 
into MetaMask, there's no transaction history. So without these explorers, there's really no other way to look at your past transactions. And this is a, the best way to do it where you get the most unfiltered data. So there are a lot of other tools out there where you can connect your wallet and we'll show you past transactions. But a lot of them do filter. So it'll, it'll filter things out that the makers of that website might think aren't you know, particularly important to whoever is connecting and looking at their wallet. So if you ever, if you ever get in a situation where you don't know what happened to your transaction, all you need to know is your wallet address and what chain you're on. And then you can find the Explorer from there and you can find exactly your transaction. So this is a foolproof way to figure it out. So there's a, a lot of times this will happen to people, especially because trust wallet doesn't add tokens right away. It takes a while to get them submitted. MetaMask, you have to manually add most of them yourself. So then we can look at things like analytics, which is pretty basic. It'll just show a little bit of your transaction history. So this one is what, how many BEP20 transfers I did, my BNB balance over time, how many times I've transferred BNB. You know, so it breaks it all down for you. Gives you a good, good breakdown. And then this right here is going to be your NFTs, which I do have an NFT from PancakeSwap, so that's fancy. That's the BSC scan one that works on the Binance Smart Chain. And this particular product, like I said, is made by Etherscan, who makes a lot of these explorers. They're the ones that I use the most just because they work exactly the same for each one. They look the same. The buttons are in the same spot. You can log into them exactly the same. They do require a new account for each one. My favorite feature that they have is the ability to save the names of things on here. Edit this out, huh? So my name tag, you can put, if you make an account, you log in, you can store names for different addresses. So if you come across an address and you know what it is, if you know it's your wallet, if you know it's your buddy's wallet, or if you're curious, but you want to remember it later in case you see it, you can click right here if you're logged in and you can save the name of that address to whatever you want. So then that way later, when you're looking through these lists, instead of seeing these numbers, you're going to see the name that you assigned to it. And that's just gonna help you visually see what you're looking at. So for instance, this is the wallet address that I was just using. And this particular one, I don't know, might be another wallet address of mine. Uh, and if you label them, you'll be able to look at it and know right away what you sent to where. So that, that's a big help on a lot of these things to kind of uh, demystify what the heck all these letters and numbers mean. But then you got Ethereum scan or Ether scan, which is the same product, Polygon scan. These are just for different networks, different chains. And then there's going to be a bunch of them because there's uh, Bitcoin explorers, there's, you know, XLM explorer, everything that has its own chain is going to have its own explorer. This is uh, the best way to look at it because your wallet is not actually trust wallet. Your wallet is not actually MetaMask. What they do is give you the interface so that you can interact with your funds as long as you know the private key or the secret phrase to import your wallet. So then it's just your interface to interact with the blockchain. So they don't really store information of yours for one security and two is just an expensive thing to do. And then they don't take the extra steps to pull old data into your wallet when you, uh, when you import it. So these are important things to be able to look at and connect to and understand how to use them so that you know what's going on with your funds. So you might have a wallet, you import it somewhere and you go, Oh, there's nothing in there. I must've forgot about it. That might not be true. They might just not be showing you what's in there. If you pull it up in an Explorer, then you'll get all that information and see what's actually left in there if you uh, forgot that you had something. So KCC, oh man, transaction volume on KCC has really gone down. That's dang. Uh, then we have Block Scan. Block Scan, one second. Mouth gets dry, talk a lot. Okay, so BlockScan is another tool made by Etherscan, and you put in an address, and it's going to show you all the chains that are in the Etherscan network that they uh, make these tools for where there's been transactions. So this is the same wallet here, and it shows I've had transactions on the testnet, on BSC Scan, and Etherscan. And then we can uh, pull that up, see what's in there. Ooh, what do I got in here? Oh, the graph token, right. Yeah, the graph. That's uh, a programming tool. It's like uh, a way to pull data, and you come up with these with these graphs through smart contracts so you can pull old data, but they gave out a bunch of their token to a bunch to uh, developers recently, which was a good surprise. So yeah, that was exciting. But yeah, so you can pull it up and see what's going on with this address on this chain. Oh, so here, this is something different. So right here we have my name pops up as an address. And the reason it does that is not because I stored the name into it, it's because I actually went through something called the Ethereum naming service. and. I paid for this name to represent the address. So if you were to send something to that address, I wouldn't need to give you my actual address. You could literally just type in my name.eth and I'd be able to receive funds right there, which is a pretty cool tool that is uh, available to you if you want to 
you know, customize your address really with your name or with whatever you want with your business. That one, the Ethereum naming service, you can just Google for that and then you can, you can register your address if you want. This one here is BitQuery. I use this one all the time as well. This has multiple chains on it. Again, all you need to know is your address. So they cover all kinds of different chains, test networks, all kinds of things. There's a lot of good tools on here. So if we put in my address here, actually, I think I already have it in a tab. Yeah, here we go. So this is the same address again. And how I got here is by putting in the address, Binance Smart Chain, there we go. So that was the money flow tool that we were just looking at. We can get back to that. And this is a pretty good analysis tool if you're trying to see where funds went or if you're trying to do some research even or even with your own wallet it's uh good to know like what you did where you sent things and this is a, this is a real powerful tool to do it this is sand key one especially so right here you select your currency let me make this a little bigger here and then it's going to show you your transaction so i'm this middle address here and it shows what i've sent out what i've sent in and then these are things like this would be a, a bridge uh, what do we have over here is a pancake swap router. I just, I just remember a lot of these addresses. They're not labeled, unfortunately on BitQuery, and you can't label them at this point. I don't, I haven't found a way to, so, you know, a lot of these are still pretty obscure, but it's a good visual tool. If you know what some of these addresses are and you can switch over your token to something else. Let's see what I did with safe moon here. Ooh, see all you haters out there that say that, oh, I've never been into safe moon. I, look, I've been into safe moon, right? I, I fell in love with it just like you guys, just like you guys. But when I figured it out, I looped it back through and I sold it. So if we look at more detail, it'll show all the transactions, smaller ones, bigger ones, everything. And then we can go out more to see where the tokens went out. So this would be like, if I sent them to somebody and then they sent them to somebody and then they sent them to somebody, we can see exactly the path of where they go. And you get in real deep into the rabbit hole sometimes exploring these things, especially the heck is this? Oh, that's still me. Yeah. You get, you get start going down a rabbit hole with these because you might know for sure what this address is, what that address is. And then it's like, Oh, who's this, who's that? And you get into the rabbit hole, but it's uh, it's pretty interesting still to, to look at. If you right click on any of these, it's going to open it up in a new tab. So if you want to know what that address was, this particular one, so we could copy this and go back into this other Explorer and be able to look at, I kind of like this style Explorer better for a lot of things. It doesn't have as many visual tools as the last one. Last tool that uh, BitQuery has, which is pretty good. It's geared towards more programmers, but it works even if you're not. And this will allow you to customize whatever data you want to see. And you can, if you know how to program, you can type it all out. If you don't, you can go over here to their, their pre-made queries. And these are things that people have already made and you can click on and there's all kinds of different data you can pull from this. So if you want to look at a price of something, if you want to look at top trades in US dollar by DEX, you click on it. Somebody else wrote the little code for it already and you can hit play. Sometimes it doesn't load because the person that made it go to this one here, latest price of a token, just a random thing. Somebody had made this, don't know who, don't know what these addresses are or whatever, but then this is the output on this side. This is something that programmers would use to build an app, pull up that kind of data but it can be used by anybody if you have a real specific piece of data you want. And if you wanna customize it, you can click over here to this builder tab. And I started one here. And how this starts is you choose your network first. So let's go ahead and go to the Ethereum network, which is going to include things like Binance Smart Chain, because that's a side chain of the uh, Ethereum network. And we'll choose BSC here. And if we know the address we wanna look for, then we can just put that in. So we'll hit address is, I will type in my, mat, my uh, address. So the purple letters are the input and the blue letters are the output. So this is the information we're giving the system. We say this is the address and we want to know what is the balance. And then we'll hit play there and I don't have anything in there. So let's go ahead and look at anything we have in there. So I'll hit balances and that's going to, to cover balances of tokens. And then we'll say value, history. We'll look at the block number, the time I traded them, the amount I transferred and what their value was and then hit play. This will pull up all the transactions that I've done on this wallet and their exact amounts, all the things that I specified right there, it's going to show me. So we can see on this block at this time, I transferred this much and you, it really breaks down every piece of detailed information you could ever want to see on it. Really. It's kind of an overview that people wanted to see. If you have any questions, leave the comments below, ask some questions on it and 
you know, I'll keep making a lot more of these videos. People seem to like to see them, especially some of this information that I kind of skip past a lot of times. It's a lot of people need to know this stuff and, you know, haven't been uh, exposed to it. So yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in here. Blockchain explorers. Now, you know, that is where all your missing tokens and transactions went. So hopefully that answered a lot of your questions on how to figure out what's going on with your missing transactions and please like subscribe tell your friends tell your mom my name is ryan dunn i'm a blockchain and web developer and if you have any more questions please put them in the comments below give me some more ideas for some more videos and i will put all the links to all these explorers i was talking about and the chains that they go to in the description thanks for uh, checking it out i think that's it okay adios